Hey, it's uh, Chris from Excellent Farm, and I'm going to talk to you real quick about this hard drive. This hard drive is our storage hard drive. This is a big deal in our house because it records all of our TV. It's got uh, rips of our Simpsons DVDs that we watch on our in-house movie channel. It's got all my documents, accounting. It's got everything that's important. That's not the operating system. The operating system lives on its own hard drive. However, I had nothing to fear, and the reason is, even though I got this warning saying that the hard drive was failing, I had thought ahead years ago, I installed a backup of this hard drive. So I had a second hard drive that was a clone of this hard drive. Now, I did not run it as a RAID. A RAID is a redundant array something disk. I don't know what it stands for, but with a RAID, what that's doing is it's constantly copying whatever's on this hard drive to the second hard drive, always. And that takes some overhead. And also, part of the problems with doing that is that this hard drive has got a certain amount of wear on it. The second hard drive would have the equal amount of wear. So what I did was I just ran a syncing program in Linux. It was just a one line command. It's all part of it already. That basically just every Sunday morning it would just sync whatever's on this hard drive. And that did a couple of things. So one, I did not wear out the hard drive as much because I only used it basically every Sunday. But also that gives me a little of a lag time. So if I deleted something off the storage hard drive that I needed, depending on what day of the week it was, I had access to, you know, basically last week's copy of it, which was pretty cool, and that I did have to do that. So uh, in Linux, it's pretty easy to swap hard drives in and out. Uh, instead of the cables kind of determining what drive letter it is, everything's a folder. So, and also these things get a, a unique identifying number, just a kind of a random number. So all I had to do is, as this hard drive was failing, I just sunk up this hard drive to the backup, told the system, okay, from now on, the backup hard drive is going to be the storage hard drive, and then this is going to be our backup hard drive until a new one could come. A new one came, I swapped it out, and then I just ran that syncing program again and sunk everything off of the now current storage hard drive to the brand new hard drive. And so when that one fails, I'll swap it out again. It's just not a big deal. And that is what I do and that is how I run this house and why it was no big deal that this thing was failing. And thank goodness I had run the software to actually tell me. It was the first time I ever had that running in the background. For some reason that's not installed by default. So I installed it and now I know. Always make sure that program's running because that would save me a lot of problems. I lost no data and you know hard drives are 50 or 60 bucks. It's, it wasn't a big deal. My documents and stuff, I do back up on external hard drives and my music folders. I actually back up on not only the storage backup and the external hard drive, but then I have a second external hard drive that's got all my music. I, I should keep that off site. Now, this is not foolproof. If there was a fire here or electricity, I would lose some stuff, but uh, the stuff that I would lose is not critical. So, that is why I run the system the way I run it, why I don't run a RAID, and why uh, Linux, again, is pretty neat because it was easy to create that syncing thing that just runs in the background, and it's easy to swap out the hard drive, and boom, another success story. So, everybody, thank you so much for watching all of this, and uh, yeah, take care.